The NCAA women's basketball semifinals are tonight. Notre Dame coach Muffet McGraw made news before her team's game, addressing an issue far beyond basketball. Dana Jacobson on McGraw's message. We don't have enough visible women leaders. We don't have enough women in power. On the sport's Girls biggest stage, you know, Notre Dame head coach Muffet McGraw made an impassioned Men plea at the women's out. final four, calling for gender equality in sports. Men have the power. Men make the decisions. It's always the men that is the stronger one. And when these girls are coming out, who are they looking up to to tell them that that's not the way it has to be? And where better to do that than in sports? Right McGraw right is in her 32nd right okay. season so at Notre Dame. And her fighting Irish are the defending national champs. The Hall of Fame coach caused a stir earlier this week when she said that she would no longer hire men as her assistant coaches. When you look at men's basketball and 99% of the jobs go to men, why shouldn't 100 or 99% of the jobs in women's basketball go to women? In 1972, when Title IX was enacted to end gender discrimination in school sports, more than 90% of women's college teams across two dozen sports had a female head coach. Today, that number is about 40%. In 1978, 79% of coaches in women's college basketball were female. Now, it's down to 57%. McGraw also addressed the lack of progress for women in politics. We've had a record number of women running for office and winning. I'm getting tired of the novelty of the first female governor of this state, the first female African-American mayor of this city. When is it going to become the norm instead of the exception? While McGraw received a lot of support for her comments, there was some backlash, specifically to that vow not to hire men. UConn's Gino Oriema said she should send a thank you to the guys who used to be on her staff for helping recruit the players that won a championship. Margaret, it appears the rivalry between the coaches continues and their teams face off tonight. Thanks, and I know Dana will have more NCAA Final Four coverage from Minneapolis on CBS This Morning Saturday and later at the, the men's semifinals on CBS.